What's going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here and today we are doing another catch and cook. Now this catch and cook came out of nowhere. We're actually out here catching bait trying to go for tarpon out in the late evening as you can see it's getting dark out here. Here's our bait bucket and we actually caught this massive shad. So what we're gonna do No way. Oh my god. Okay, well as I'm filming this, we actually got another giant. <laughs> Alright, we got another decent sized shad. So what we're gonna do today is a shad catch and cook. Now these have been done on YouTube before. I've seen people make shad catch and cooks and I'm curious how they taste. So we're gonna head back and get it done. Right, guys here are the shad pieces right here this is going to be really interesting they look really good i mean they kind of look appetizing but we're going to head back to the house and cook these up all right guys so we are back in the kitchen yet again for another catch and cook episode now here is our shad prepared it looks really good actually and it smells pretty good it has like a almost like a lemony natural smell. It smells really, really good just sitting here raw. But preparation wise, we're not gonna do much to this. We're actually just gonna put some salt on it and throw it in a pan with scorching hot oil, just like this, skin and all. So like I said, it smells good, it looks good, hopefully it tastes good. The meat right now isn't really white. It actually has like almost like a red tint to it. I don't know if you guys can see but we will see how it tastes so let's go ahead and get the pan ready okay so here is the fish like i said we're just going to coat them in some salt both sides and here we have our extremely hot oil ready to go so we're going to throw these in just like that and fry them up So these have been cooking for, I don't know, I'd say three or four minutes, they're almost done. I gotta say, the smell is actually pretty bad. It smells, uh, it smells interesting to say the least. It, it doesn't smell good. It has an odd fishy smell to it. Not so inviting, but they're almost ready. Each side is pretty brown. We're gonna take them out in about, I don't know, a minute or two and try them and take them out put them in our napkin here so they can drain some of the oil and there we go 
This is the shad all fried up. Now, physically it looks pretty good. It's nice and brown. It didn't smell too good cooking on the pan, but the last test to do is to taste it. So let's head to the table, try this out. All right, so we are back at the table with our shad, our crispy shad. Now, it smells okay off the pan, it looks okay. Um, I don't know how it's gonna taste. I know a lot of you guys are wondering, you know, John, why haven't you died yet? How come you don't have a parasite or mercury poisoning? I don't know, I'm not too sure. We gotta contact the doctor or something. Today we are here with Shad. So I've seen people eat this. I looked it up before I did this. Uh, there are YouTube videos already, people preparing and eating Shad just like the way I did. So as always, we're gonna do a break test, see what the meat looks like underneath this skin. All right, so let's take a look. We're gonna break the skin here and see what the meat looks like. I'm pretty excited for this part. Oh wow, okay. So underneath the skin and the friedness, um, you actually have some pretty white meat, surprisingly. Uh, I can already see looking down here, and you guys could probably see like right there as well, uh, the little hairline uh, bones and stuff like that, but that's expected. But the meat itself is pretty white and looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and take a bite of it and try it out. We're gonna rip off a solid piece, pretty meaty piece. I am going to eat the crispy skin on the side. That's usually how people eat them. So here we go. Without further ado, this is Catch and Cook Shad right here. Um, it's okay. The salt at the beginning really helped. It helps texture the skin. It makes it taste a lot better, that initial bite is salty it's crispy from the fried skin so that's really good the meat it, it tastes it tastes good it's not too fishy it has a really distinctive aftertaste i've already swallowed it and i can still kind of taste like the it has a slight fishiness to it but it's not overwhelming but the aftertaste is unbelievable it's long gone already and i'm literally still tasting it. it's super strong the taste is surprisingly good. I wasn't expecting it to be terrible because the videos that I've watched previously, everyone loves it, but you don't necessarily eat shad every day, so I was kind of skeptical about it. But it is pretty tasty. I like it. I I'll give it a thumbs up. Is it good? That's a weird taste. The aftertaste is crazy. Like, you like in a while, it's going to be gone, and you're still going to be, like, tasting it. Okay. Well, there you guys have it. That is Catch a Cook episode... Who knows what, I think it's like seven or eight, but that is shad. Now this actually came out of nowhere. We were actually catching bait to go tarpon fishing and snook fishing, and we actually came across some pretty decent sized shad. And I said, you know what? Let's do a catch and cook. I'm curious what shad tastes like. So we did it and they're actually pretty good. Thumbs up, I give it about a seven out of 10. It's not the best, but it's, it's good, it's pretty good. If you guys enjoyed this video, Give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys like the content that I create for you. And if you guys enjoy the Catch and Cook series, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, from big to small, ocean, freshwater, I will try it. I haven't died yet of a parasite, so we're going to keep doing this. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you later.